Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and hi Today we continue our lesson in subtopic second order partial derivative We compute the second order partial derivative involving two variables Variables x and variables y For second order partial derivative of a function z or fxy Number 1 Differentiate twice with respect to x we write in this notation partial squared f partial x squared that's equal to f sub xx number 2 differentiate twice with respect to y we write in notation partial squared f partial y squared is equal to f sub yy number 3 differentiate First, with respect to x, then with respect to y. We write in notation, partial squared f, partial y, partial x. The important thing here, for this notation, you should read from right to the left. First, with respect to x, and then with respect to y. It's equal to f sub xy. Number 4, differentiate first with respect to y, then with respect to x. We write in notation, partial squared f, partial x, partial y. You should note that, first, differentiate with respect to y, and the second, with respect to x, is equal to f sub yx. Second order partial derivative that are differentiate with respect to more than one variables or we call mixed partial derivative such as f sub xy and f sub yx. In general, f sub xy is equal to f sub yx or in notation we write Partial squared f, partial y, partial x is equal to partial squared f, partial x, partial y. This rule except for all values of x and y. Now, we discuss example 4. Given the function z or fxy equal to 5x squared minus 2xy plus 3y cubed. The question is, find f sub x, f sub y and the second order partial derivative f sub xx, f sub yy and f sub xy. To solve this question, we write the function is 5x squared minus 2xy plus 3y cubed. Now, find f sub x. Differentiate with respect to x. And, treat y as a constant. Differentiate 5x squared is 10x minus differentiate 2xy is 2y and differentiate 3y cubed is 0. Next, 5x squared minus 2xy plus 3y cubed. Now, differentiate with respect to y. And, treat x as a constant. Differentiate 5x squared is 0. Differentiate negative 2xy is negative 2x. Plus, differentiate 3y cubed is 9y squared. Next, differentiate twice with respect to x. f sub x x. And, treat y as a constant. Differentiate 10 x is 10. And, differentiate negative 2 y is 0. And next, differentiate twice with respect to y. f sub y y. Differentiate with respect to y. 
and treat x as a constant. Negative 2x is 0. Differentiate 9y squared is 18y. Next, differentiate f sub xy. That means from f sub x. f sub x is 10x minus 2y. Now, differentiate with respect to y. And treat x as a constant. Now, differentiate 10x is 0. And differentiate negative 2y is negative Okay. For extra example, the function fxy is equal to 2 exponent xy. The function is 2 exponent xy. Now, find the partial derivative of f with respect to x, f sub x. Differentiate xy with respect to x is y times 2 exponent xy equal to 2y exponent xy. Next, if the function 2 exponent xy differentiate partial derivative with respect to y or f sub y. Differentiate xy with respect to y is x times 2 exponent xy equal to 2x exponent xy. Next, find differentiate with respect twice with respect to x or f sub xx and y as a constant. Differentiate xy is y times 2y exponent xy equal to 2y squared exponent xy. Next, differentiate twice with respect to y or f sub yy and x as a constant. Differentiate xy with respect to y is x times 2x exponent xy equal to 2x squared exponent xy. Next, how to find the partial derivative with respect to x, then with respect to y, or f sub xy. That means from f sub x. f sub x is 2y exponent xy. To differentiate second derivative with respect to y, we should use the product rule. Let u equal to 2y, u sub y equal to 2, and v equal to exponent xy v sub y equal to x exponent xy now f sub xy is use the product rule u time v sub y 2 xy exponent xy plus v time u sub y plus 2 exponent xy. We can factorize 2 exponent xy times xy plus 1. Okay. For the next example, given the function fxy equal to ln 2x plus 3y. Find f sub x. Differentiate with respect to x. Differentiate ln 2x plus 3y is, differentiate 2x is 2, and differentiate 3y is 0, over 2x plus 3y. Or we can write 2 times 2x plus 3y power negative 1. Next, find f sub xx. Differentiate twice with respect to x. Negative 2 times 2x plus 3y power negative 2 and differentiate 2x is 2 and differentiate 3y is 0 equal to negative 4 times 2x plus 3y power negative 2. Next, find f sub 
Y. Differentiate with respect to Y. Differentiate 2X is 0. Differentiate 3Y is 3. Over 2X plus 3Y. Equal to 3 times 2X plus 3Y power negative 1. Next, differentiate F sub YY. Differentiate twice with respect to Y. Negative 3 times 2X plus 3Y power negative 2 times differentiate 3Y is 3. Equal to negative 9 times 2X plus 3Y power negative 2. Next, how to differentiate F sub XY from F sub X. Now, differentiate with respect to Y. Differentiate 2 times 2X plus 3Y power negative 1 is negative 2 times 2X plus 3Y power negative 2. And differentiate 2X is 0 and differentiate 3Y is 3. Equal to negative 6 times 2X plus 3Y power negative 2. Next, find F sub Yx from F sub Y. Equal to negative 3 times 2x plus 3y power negative 2 and differentiate with respect to x is 2. Equal to negative 6 times 2x plus 3y power negative 2 and the conclusion is f sub xy is equal to f sub yx given this exercise copy this question and try to solve carefully thank you